What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash today. Shout out to the Dragon Riders and the House of the Dragon. Um, not the House of the Dragon coin, as, as I've just figured out in a recent video. That's, that's actually a thing. Uh, but the House of the Dragon in the Discord. Um, and just anybody who, who owns Bitcoin Cash, whether you're in the Discord or not, man, you are in the House of the Dragon. A lot of you out there want to pretend that BSV is the dragon. It's the dragon that wants to be a dragon, right? That's that's what Craig Riot is, right? He wants to be the dragon. We all know that he's not, and we don't even go along with it and say, okay, man, you're the dragon. Like, most people are like, you're definitely not the dragon. You're fake dragon, you know? But the crypto itself, BSV, yeah, it's been doing well. I think it's actually seen more growth overall from its cycle low to, to its cycle high. A little bit more. Not like, not like tremendously more, but still, it's, it's done pretty well. I'm not trying to dog on BSV at all. More just dogging on Craig Wright because that guy sucks. But but anyways, uh, high to low here. 1618 hit. Pulled back to your 1272. Didn't even get to your 100 level. This is actually a really nice uh, shakeout move that you had. You you went really far down and you pulled back. You're actually finding support on the 1272 over the past couple weeks. Yeah, you can see it here. You closed right at it. You tipped it here. You're holding up at these strong levels in the RSI. Um you could go a little bit lower, but I, I doubt you break this one two seven two. If you go, it's gonna be like a quick move like this. If you were to break the one two seven two, I suppose you know you could go all the way back down to that three thirty area, but that would be like the lowest that I would give it. And I think genuinely speaking, guys, we're in the midst of a move that wants to take us to the next level up in the fib, which would be six hundred and eleven dollars, potentially all the way up to eight hundred dollars, and potentially who knows, maybe even past that. But I would think let's stay grounded at six hundred to eight hundred dollars and maybe even at nine hundred dollars. And the reason why I'm giving I would say just below nine hundred dollars. The reason why I'm giving that any attention at all is because from top to bottom here, the seven eight six is right there at the eight hundred and seventy five dollar area, which is just above the two two seven two, right? You, you respect your fibs pretty well, but like just above your 2272 here, that's 875. You know, you went just above your 1618 here, so you could go just above this, whatever. But uh, I would say 600 to $900 is likely the target. I very much think you're going to go up there soon. Um, but soon is relevant, you know, to each individual person. To me, soon is anywhere within the next two months. Um, it, it could definitely happen in two weeks. Uh, you know, last time, whenever I was calling for this move to move up, I was thinking that it would take two months to do, not just one week to do. And somebody asked if I was okay. They were like, they're like, looks like you're wrong again. Are you okay, buddy? And I'm like, oh yeah. Uh, the move that I thought would take two months to do, it took one week to do. And I bought all my Bitcoin cashes down here. Yes, I'm okay with that. So, hey, same thing here, guys. And to whoever it is that wants to make that same comment, um, maybe it'll be a meme, man. Maybe it'll be like an inside joke. I don't know. Uh, if I'm calling for, you know, potentially within the next two months, we could see a $600 to $800 price and it happens to be next week or the week after, I think I speak for all of us whenever I say we're going to be fine. It's going to be, I think we're okay with that. Um, and it could, it could be next week or two weeks from now. It really could be, but, um, we might, we, we really might consolidate kind of in this range just because we move up to 500 or move up above 500 again, does not mean that we're going to 600 immediately. You guys know Bitcoin cash, right? I know Bitcoin cash. We've been doing this for a while. It plays with our hearts. It does. It's a, it's a tease. It really is a tease, man, right? So boring for so long just to give you two weeks of action and then nothing for like half a year, over half a year, man. How long was that? June to, yeah, like like three quarters of a year, man. You get your bullish engulfing candles just to get a bearish engulfing candle and then you stop going down. And then you get your bullish engulfing candle again just to get your bearish engulfing candle. And then you stop moving down. You get a higher high just to go lower. Like... It loves to toy with us. So just because we get up to that $500 area, don't get too excited that we're going to $600 to $900, right, just yet. It could happen. It could, you know, it's okay to get excited, but just don't don't hold your breath on that because you guys know how it is. We could absolutely consolidate here for a little while. I don't think that we're going to consolidate at all like this time here. I don't think it's going to be that long, um, but a little while, just a little while. Um, and that's, that's really all I have to say, man. I think I think it does look good. The longer we consolidate, the more this weekly RSI cools off. It could cool off a little bit, right? We have we really could with this kind of trajectory. We could pull all the way back down to like here and be fine right at the 60 there. It kind of comes in, in with these like higher lows, kind of. You know, maybe it even goes below that. 
Um, that's not the perf most perfectly drawn straight line, but you can kind of see what I'm going for, right? The weekly RSI could come down and still look fine, especially if we don't see a flash crash. We just kind of consolidate more or less that that would give it time to cool off. On a daily perspective, we could also go down a little bit, right? Same kind of idea. You've got these like higher lows coming in. You could go down back to like 55, and here you are right now at 63 so or 64. So, um, in the more immediate term, if we do happen to go below $400, don't be scared. And also, if we happen to go above $500, don't get too excited. You know, I I think we're going to be consolidating. I would think for at least another week or so if not potentially two months, right? Like, but, but somewhere within that range, we're gonna break, we're gonna go up to the upside. I don't know, that's my best, my best guess if I had to give it any, any other word. The four hour is very neutral. It's not giving us anything to go off of at all. I, I don't think it's bearish or bullish. It's probably more bullish than it is bearish, but it could turn more bearish quick. Let's look at the one hour. Yeah, there's really not a lot to go off of. And that makes sense, right? Because we've just been moving sideways. So, um, yeah, be prepared to be bored for a couple weeks or more. That's the best kind of guess I got. But inevitably, you know, just like this felt like a long, long and painful drawn out process. Once we finally saw this move, now it's like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like once we finally move up again, it's not going to be so bad. And I, I don't think it's going to take nearly as long of a time. Um, inevitably, guys, I very much do believe Bitcoin Cash will go above $10,000, above $13,000, potentially even all the way up to $23,000. This is the high target of the cycle that I would have at $53,286, but I personally don't think it's going to happen. But it is there. It is a number nonetheless. And I think it will happen inevitably, but this cycle I'm looking more at 13 to 23 k um, and yeah, man, your 618's all the way at $900 there too, actually. I didn't even see that. And we kind of are respecting this FIB, not going to lie. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. Take care. Bye-bye.